Hello again to anyone and no one who accidentally clicked on this video and welcome to day two of Mario Kart week. Uh, all week we're playing every single Mario Kart game, uh, the next game in the series per day. Uh, this is day two so we're playing Mario 64, uh, Mario Kart 64 rather. Uh, yesterday I played through Super Mario Kart on the SNES, played every single track and yeah we're going to continue that today, play through every single track on the 64 version. Um, I'm just going to play 100cc, uh, it's been a while since I played Mario Kart 64, we're going to start things off with Super Mario himself. And yeah, every track, so let's just start with the Mushroom Cup here. Alright, so we have uh, Luigi Raceway. This is a pretty, pretty uh, nostalgic track. Being the first track in Mario Kart 64, this is probably the track that I played the most as a kid. And I really, I really, I, I know it's a basic track, but I really love this track. I love this part too. You have like this, this green on the tunnel. I thought that was so cool. Oh. Get out of here, Luigi. Another, another thing that I find funny, uh, the item box coming up that is in the balloon, in the Luigi balloon that's descending, that is always a blue shell, always. It's hard to get though, but even if you're in first place, it will always be a blue shell if you get that box. But it's it, like I said, the timing, it's pretty hard to actually uh, get that box. Okay, I'm, I got a pretty good lead right now, actually. Ooh, watch that fake item box. See, the fake item boxes in this game um, actually kind of resemble what the normal item box looks like, opposed to in Mario Kart Wii. In Mario Kart Wii, the fake item box is like super red. And it, it sticks out, like it's so obvious. In Mario Kart Wii, it's like, oh wow, you can see it a mile away that, that it's a fake item box. <laughs> it's like, so. <clears throat> okay, ooh. Okay, I missed that throw. Yoshi, don't do this to me. How did I get a lightning in second? And then I slid in circles across the finish line. How did that work out? <laughs> Wait, seriously, how did I get a lightning in second? Um, that is not a... What's the word I'm looking for? Balanced. That doesn't seem balanced at all. Uh, Moo Moo Farm next, a very simple track. Because I know in Mario Kart 8, uh, depending on how far away you are from the player in first, it, it will give you like better or worse items um, So not necessarily like what rank you are like like even if you're in second place in Mario Kart 8, but you're like way behind because the first place racer has a huge lead Then you'll get like insane items then you could get a lightning and, and bullet bill whatever but I'm not sure how it works in Mario Kart 64 um, I was right behind first place anyway, so it I wasn't like it's not like I had first place first place had a huge lead I just think that was so weird how that it gave me a lightning bolt there uh, yeah I'm not too sure how the items uh, the probability and all that works in in this game or any of the any of these Mario Karts except for the eighth one I do know a little bit about Mario Kart 8 See, this track isn't bad. I found this track kind of annoying though as a kid. I, probably because I was like, maybe I just wasn't good, but I, I just hated all the moles. I found the moles so annoying. Just jumping out and, and hitting you. I don't think this track, oh no, this track was remade on the DS, I think. It was too. Did Yoshi just get a boo, a boo item? I, I, I watched him turn invisible. What? Um, 
Is there a boo item in this game or was it not introduced yet? No, I think it is. Actually, the boo item was introduced all the way back in the first Mario Kart for the SNES, but it wasn't... You can't get the boo item in a Grand Prix in the SNES Mario Kart. I think you can only use it in, in like, versus mode when you're, like, playing against a friend. I don't think you could, it actually comes up in the races, but I might be wrong about that. But I think there is a boo item in this game. Um, so Luigi Raceway was remade in Mario Kart 7 for the 3DS, and Moo Moo Farm that we just did was remade in Mario Kart DS, I believe. Uh, and then we got this one, um, Koopa Troopa Beach. This one, I always thought that, that this was kind of a nice little track, actually. Um, I loved the shortcut through the waterfall as a kid, but I would never, I missed it, like, I would get it like one out of ten times, because it's kind of tricky. Oh, you need a, oh, I have a star. I don't think I used my star quick enough. I didn't have enough speed to, uh, to get in, in the, the shortcut. But that shortcut was, was so tricky to get, but it was so satisfying, like, actually getting that shortcut, going through the, the waterfall, coming out on the other side, it was so sick. Um, yeah, actually, I really like this track a lot. Mario Kart 64 in general. Um, this is like one of the most nostalgic games of my childhood. I played this game a lot growing up. It is probably... I want to say Super Mario 64 is probably my favorite and most nostalgic. And what I have the most memories. Oh, I miss it again. You know, my favorite N64 game growing up. And you know what, as big of a Zelda fan as I am, I played a hell of a lot of Mario Kart 64, probably more, more than I played Majora's Mask and Ocarina. So, yeah, I think Mario Kart 64 was, is probably my second favorite N64 game growing up as a kid, and, and I played this so much. Like, just when I booted this game up a few minutes ago, and, and when I was doing my intro, and the Nintendo logo, it like spins. Like that, just just that, and and seeing like these classic graphics and the old sound effects and and, and voices, um, yeah, it really brings brings memories back. I, I you know what, I used to play this, play this with my cousins a, a little bit too, my older cousins, a couple times. Okay, we're coming up near the, the near the end here, and this and this track was remade. I believe this was also remade in Mario Kart 7 for the 3DS um, and in Tour. Oh, but there was a lot of tracks remade in, in Tour. I think Luigi's Raceway was also remade in Tour. But if you just say a random Mario Kart track, like out of any game, chances are there's there's a more than 50% chance it was remade in Tour. Because I, I swear, Mario Kart Tour has so many tracks. Uh, so next up, you're finishing off the Mushroom Cup. Okay. <laughs> I love this track, actually. Calamari Desert. So this track, I find... <sighs> I think this track's kind of underrated because a lot of people don't like the train mechanic. And that a lot that, that was coming up a lot when they brought this track back for the, the Booster Course Pass. Uh, they brought this track, of course, like, it's in Mario Kart 8 now, thanks to the DLC. So there's a lot of discussion, and a lot of people, at least, correct me if I'm wrong, or if you've heard different from other groups of people, but the people that I've heard from, and, and comments that I've read in, on videos, and um, just videos that I've seen on YouTube, ex people expressing their opinions and stuff of the Booster Course Pass, uh, a lot of people don't, uh, kind of found the train annoying, um, but I always love this, that, that mechanic. I thought it was like so funny. I thought it was so funny that you that you would be racing, and then you have to stop for the train. It's like it's just I don't know. It's just comical. Maybe it'd be annoying if I played this game older, but as a kid, I thought it was so funny. I would like follow the train. I'm not gonna do it now because I would lose. But I would instead of racing, I would go like on the train tracks and go through the tunnel and stuff. Now, of course, in the Mario Kart 8 version. You actually do do that because when they remade this track, okay, th this track was remade in Mario Kart 7. Also, 
uh, and then it was remade in Tour. In Tour, they changed the track layout a little bit so that you could drive through the tunnel, and that's the version they brought back for Mario Kart 8 for the DLC. So, in, on the second lap in Mario Kart 8, you go through the tunnel. It's really cool, actually. Um, but I would just do that on the 64 version anyway. Like, he, like I think Lakitu comes down and is yelling at you, like, oh, you're going backwards. <laughs> but I thought it was, like, so cool. Um, yeah, I this track, I thought this, it was, when this track was coming to the Booster Course Pass, I thought that was so hype, because I actually, I think I like this track more than a lot of people. I, I don't think this is actually a, a very popular track, <laughs> but I love it a lot. <clears throat> okay, we're coming up near the end. I'm, I'm only in third. I'm not, I wasn't doing too great this race. Got Bowser and Toad ahead of me. A decent, decent ways. So you got like a sunset or a sunrise aesthetic going on too. Hmm. All right. And that is Culinary Desert. And that is the end of the Mushroom Cup. So how did I do overall? Uh, oh, I, I still got first overall, so that's pretty good. Got a little ceremony here. See, this is so cool, this ceremony. It's the exact same Peach's Castle from Super Mario 64. It's the same, and this part too, like this is the same, uh, it, it's just, it, it's the exact same assets and, and area, like one for one basically. I mean. There's a road that and that they added the road in the back that comes into the yard But other than that everything is exactly the same as Mario Kart 6 uh, as Super Mario Kart No as Super Mario 64 Doesn't he explode I Think he explodes. Oh, no, he spits it out he spits out the trophy. He had the trophy inside of him for some reason. The cheap cheap and the cheap cheap was floating down. Was it a balloon or something, or was that a real cheap cheap? I don't really understand. Congratulations! Alrighty, cool. Well then, we will move on to uh, the flower cup. I'm gonna keep it at 100. Uh, we gotta switch it up. I don't think I picked Luigi yesterday for Super Mario Kart. I think I went Mario, Toad, Yoshi, and did I go with uh, Donkey Kong Jr.? I don't quite remember. I, we got normal Donkey Kong in Mario Kart 64, because for those of you who don't know, it's not Donkey Kong in the original Mario Kart for the SNES. It's Donkey Kong Jr. Anyway, let's... Uh, Let's get it with Luigi here. Oh, I should have picked Luigi for the first cup since we have Luigi Raceway. Uh, but that's fine. Um, all right, Toad's Turnpike. So this is another track actually that is, I think not super popular. A, a lot of people found this one pretty annoying actually in the 64 version. You know, you hit the cars, you go flying up in the air it is a little annoying, but I don't know. I never really, I don't dislike the, there's only one track in this game that I kind of dislike. And it's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's Wario Stadium because that track is so long and there's like nothing going on. It's so boring, but I hope they bring it back for Mario Kart 9 and because they can give it like a really good remake and they can make the stage like fun in Mario Kart 9 if they do like a you know, like a faithful, or not, not exactly faithful, like, you'd want them to change some things about it to make it modern and, and more fun, but, but it's funny too, that track's never been remade. I'll talk more about that track later when I'm racing on it. Um, but yeah, that, other than that, there's no track in this game that I really dislike. Like, I still liked this track as a kid. Um, I thought that, I actually thought this one was really cool. What happened there? Did I get struck by lightning, or did something run over me and Peach at the same time? Um, I'll keep turning the music off by accident, pressing the wrong buttons. Um, I thought this track was really cool because you're racing with like other vehicles. I think this was the first track, I mean now, especially with Mario Kart Tour, we have so many tracks like this. Like Mario Kart Tour, all of their city tracks, you have cars on the road with you. Um, 
And then you have like other like uh, some of the non tour tracks like you have Moonview Highway is a popular one. You have like Mushroom Bridge and Mushroom City uh, in Mario Kart Double Dash. Um, Shroom Ridge on the DS so you know but I think this was the first Mario Kart track uh, that that had this feature where you're, where you're racing with other vehicles on the road and I thought that was pretty cool actually. Now in the 64 version we got a bit of a sunset going on as you can see from this angle but when they brought this pack for Mario Kart 8 it's completely nighttime no sunset it is just evening um, and I, I like I like the remake quite a bit too in Mario Kart 8. You got like those cars on the road that you can actually jump off of. There's like a boost on it, like a ramp. You can glide. It's pretty cool actually. There's like a section where you can drive on the wall with anti gravity. Um, so pretty cool stuff. I, I really don't mind this track. I thought it was cool. I don't know. I think it's I, again. Correct me if I'm wrong. I just I just I feel like I hear more people dislike this track than than people express how they like it. I think this is a un, more of an unpopular track from what I have heard. All right, coming up the oh, I was so close. I, that truck almost hit me. Right. Peach, can you get out of here? <laughs> We're coming up near the end. Ooh, and I... Oh, was Yoshi ahead of me? Oh my god, I didn't even, I didn't even notice. It probably... I didn't even notice that I, that I was in second. I thought I was in first. I wasn't paying attention, I guess. Yoshi was somewhere way down ahead of me. All right, what do we have next here? Frappe Snowland. Okay, this one's interesting. Um, this is like... I, okay, so this is a, a cool track too. It's not, in my opinion, it's not super memorable. I always forget about this track. This track and uh, Boo... Is it... Okay, what the hell's going on? Luigi, you gotta, you gotta move it. Um, I forget the name of that other stage. The Is it like Boo's Boardwalk or something? But that boo stage, which is actually pretty cool, um, and this one, I always forget about these tracks for some reason. Um, I guess they, just, I guess they didn't just stick out to me much as a kid. Um, I don't, I don't hate this track. Um, like I've, I've replayed Mario Kart 64 um, a lot in recent years since it's been on the Switch. So I've played through all these tracks um, quite a lot again since my childhood, but yeah, I just I don't remember this track much from my childhood. I, I don't I don't think it was it really stuck out to me. It wasn't really a favorite of mine. I guess kind of a middle of the road. Um, I don't mind it though. This track was remade. I don't I think it might it was probably remade in tour, <laughs> um, but it was remade in like a a proper Mario Kart as well. I don't remember which one. Wasn't the Wii. I don't think it was the D... Or was it the DS? No, because Mario Kart DS... Oh no, it, it might have been actually, now that I think about it. Hmm. I don't quite remember, but I think this track was, was remade in, on, on the Mario Kart DS. But we'll find out in a few days when I play Mario Kart DS. Because um, I'll be playing through all the Nitro and Retro tracks when we get there. Like, this game doesn't have Retro tracks, of course, and... Of course, neither does Super Mario Kart for the SNES, because that was the very first Mario Kart, but later on in this Mario Kart week, when we get to, like, DS and, and beyond, when they start doing retro tracks, I'll be playing those as well. So yeah, kind of a middle of the road, in my opinion, kind of a track, but not bad. It's a cute little track, I like all the snowman, and this part's kind of cool. Like, I don't know what, like, this is supposed to be. Like, you're going through, like, a couple mountains or something but they're not really mountains it looks like it was shaped like it looks like it was a big snow hill but they took like a, a machine or something and and took the snow out to make a, a road because it's like perfectly shaped you know so n not a bad track and you have like big uh you have like a mario snowman and a big like yoshi yoshi snowman as well in the background at certain parts, so it's 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 cute. I quite 
I quite like Choco Mountain a lot. And the music in this stage is, is so good too. It's it's just uh oh I'm, I'm pressing the wrong button. Um Yeah. I, I was really like when they when they first announced the booster course pass and that Mario Kart 8, which is so many years old, was getting DLC. It was so random. Like they announced that in March 2022, um, almost two years ago, right? And then over the last two years, we were getting all these DLCs. The DLC is done now. We got all six waves, but this was part of the first wave. And when they revealed the booster course pass for the first time, like that was hype. First of all, like like Mario Kart's getting DLC, like what? But also Chocolate Mountain. I was like, what? Ch Chocolate Mountain? Because I love Chocolate Mountain. Um, I just thought this stage is just—it's just so much fun to, to race on this stage. It's, it's like, is, and is the mountain really supposed to be made out of chocolate or something? Because that was my impression as a kid. Because it, it choco, like choco, like chocolate. So I was, I always thought that this mountain, the wall, the road, like it all kind of looks like it could be chocolate. And uh, so I just thought that that was pretty cool too. Because who doesn't love chocolate? <laughs> um, this part here where the, is it this part of the boulders fall on you? I think so. I think I, I might have just gone lucky. Nothing fell on me. Um, and you got like a fog. A fog too, which is kind of cool. Now there's no fog in Mario Kart 8. They took that out. It's all pretty clear. Um, but yeah, I, I, this age was just so cool. Okay, I have to pick it up because I think if I finish in 5th place or, or lower, I think I get a game over. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on. I have to make a... Can I, uh, okay. I want to make a... Um, create a suspend. I have to suspend a... Okay. I'm just trying to give myself some insurance here. On the last lap. I had to do this yesterday in Super Mario Kart. Because um, I am not very good at that one, <laughs> apparently. Oh, I got a lightning. Okay, this, this should help me. But in Super Mario Kart, I kept losing. And if you get worse in fourth place, you, you just get a game over. And you can't continue, which is like... Kind of not fun, so I had to keep. Oh no! No way! I got struck, and then now I fell down here. Now I'm in last. I'm gonna lose now. I have to use the rewind function to have to cheat. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to redo those first two uh, tracks. Let me just confirm here. It's gonna give me a game over, right? Yeah, it, it does, and it's not going to let me play the next track. Now, can I just rewind it, or... I'm trying to figure out... I can just load... Okay, I'll have to just load this one. Okay, so we're going to take it back from the top. <laughs> I had no choice, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, same deal as, as yesterday, essentially. Cause I don't, I don't have time to, to sit here and and just do it over and over again. Um, and if I, yeah, you got a game over, you can't continue. So if, if I have to rewind for that reason, I will. Okay, I'm in fourth now. This is pretty good. Are you kidding? Did you see Wario snake me last second? Where did he come from? That is not fair. There is still another track. There's Mario, um, Mario Circuit, which is which I really love that track a lot. I gotta do this again. I'm really struggling now. Okay, let's let me save this. Let me use it now. There's Wario flying. Get out of here, Wario. Get out of here, Yoshi. Now, nobody passed me last second, please. Okay, Yoshi's gonna pass me. What is happening? <laughs> what is going on? Why does the game not want me to progress? This is insane. I wish you could just continue, even if you get last place in a race. 
Then it's like, whatever, I'll just keep playing. But it's gonna keep making me do this. Okay, I got three mushrooms. There's no way I lose now. I have three mushrooms. Screw you guys. What the hell was that? Okay. What was that? Like fourth take or something? Well, I got fourth place. This next race, it doesn't matter what, what place I finish in technically because it's I think it's the last race in the cup. But it should be Mario, uh, Mario Circuit. Or oh, no, Mario Raceway. Okay, Mario Raceway is what it's called. This track is is super awesome. Uh, one of my favorites from the N64. It's another very basic track, but it's I don't know. There's just there's just something about this stage. I think it was, I think it might be the music. So I think this is the same music used in Luigi Raceway. Now, I like this track even more than Luigi Raceway. I think I I really quite like Mario Raceway a lot. Oh boy. Try and cut that a little bit. This track was remade uh, for the Wii, actually. And it's pretty fun in that game as well. Um... Alright, okay, I gotta try it. Oh my god. I have to try and not get, like, fifth place again. If it's looking like I'm, I, I'm gonna come in fifth, I'm gonna have to make a save point real quick. During, in the last lap. Well, this is the last race in the cup, actually, as I said, so I guess it's not a big deal. Okay, let's cut this. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Now, I do believe that the, comp that the computer players have a rubber band effect in this game. I'm not certain about that. Uh, I know in Mario Kart 8, they don't. Like, if you're kicking their ass in Mario Kart 8, then you're kicking ass, but I'm pretty sure... That, they, that there is a rubber band effect in this game. Oh no, no, no. Um, yeah. So if you get too far ahead, they, the ones behind you get faster. Toad? That was close. Oh. Toad was this close, man. <laughs> so that should be all for the Fire Cup. <clears throat> and I wait. What place did I finish in? I f I think I finished fourth overall. I did a lot worse. I'm just spectating. Poor Luigi's just spectating the award ceremony. How did I get first last time in the Mushroom Cup, and I got fourth th this time? I did way worse. Maybe Luigi's just bad luck. You know, Mario. He just wait. What is Luigi doing? He's just going to drive away? This is kind of weird. <laughs> I don't remember this. Oh, I, I kind of remember this, but... Oh my god, the bomb! Oh yeah, it explodes. That is so sad. It explodes. They did not have to do him like that. They did him so dirty. Come on, is fourth that bad? There was a fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth that I beat. Alright. Anyway. Luigi, uh... They really did Luigi dirty there. <laughs> Um, let's, uh, let's go with, uh, Wario on this one. Oh, uh, yeah, Wario for Wario Stadium. Okay, okay, so, yeah, Luigi Raceway and Mario Raceway. Okay, I thought it was Mario Circuit, but I guess in the later games, they, call, they rename it Mario Circuit. Because there's a Mario Circuit in, like, every uh, Mario Kart game. And did my face cam freeze? Yes, it did. That was, that was a little weird. Oh, nothing a little deactivate and activate won't fix. Um, let's start with the Star Cup then, right away. I'll make sure everything else is good on my screen here. The sound and face cam and make sure nothing else is frozen. Uh, okay, that was not a good start. Um... Okay, yeah, everything looks good there. Um, okay, this stage, Wario Stadium. So this is the only track in this game that I kind of dislike. 
Um, I don't quite remember. I think even as a kid, I, I kind of thought this one was boring. I don't quite remember. Like, it, it was so many years ago, but... Like, I would just play through all the Grand Prix, right? I would just, like, regardless if I liked it or not, like, I would play all of these tracks many, like, numerous times. But yeah, this track is just, it's so long, first of all. It's so long, but it's, there's also not a lot going on. It's pretty, pretty boring. But, like, in Mario Kart, if they brought this back for Mario Kart 8, well, they can't now because the DLC's done, but, like, Mario Kart 9 or something, because ever since Mario Kart Wii, you can do, like, jumps, or you can trick off of jumps and get, like, speed boosts. Um, and it's, like, really satisfying, actually. So, and there's so many, like, ramps in, on this stage. Like, there's so many ramps and, and just sections where you can jump that this track would probably work, like, even, like, right there. And, like, right here there could be a jump, right here there could be a jump. Um, this track would work a lot better, I think, in a modern Mario Kart, you know? Um, and yeah, and like I mentioned earlier, this is the only track from Mario Kart 64 that's never been re remade, ever. This track's never been remade. Not even, not even in Tour. Not even Mario Kart Tour that remakes everything <laughs> wanted this track. Um, you know? But the thing is, if you remake a track, like, yeah, keep like, the layout, you can keep it the same, but you can still, you can get away with changing quite a bit to, like, make it modern. A lot, like, so Cheese Land, the GBA's Cheese Land and the GBA's Ribbon Road, that, uh, was, that's in Mario Kart 8. Like, those remakes are tremendous, like, and those are Game Boy tracks. Like, they added so much vertical, ver what am I, what's the word I'm looking for? Verticality? Um, so many, like, vertical sections and, um... Because those games were, were 2, 2D, the GBA. The GBA Mario Kart is a lot like the SNES version, it's just 2D. Um, and, and so same with Bowser Castle 3 from the SNES. That they just remade in the final DLC in Mario Kart 8. That remake is awesome. Um, yeah, so like you can, you, you can give, if they're, like if you're creative, you can give this track a really good remake. Really good. Um, you could probably make it like two laps. You know, well, Rainbow Road, this game's Rainbow Road, which we will get to in a little bit, is also very long. Um, and when they brought that back for Marker 8, they made it only one lap, because it's very long. This one's pretty long. You can make this one or two laps if they brought it back, like for Marker 9. You could make the details a lot more exciting, like maybe change the background so we're not in a stadium. Or if you want it to be a stadium, still you can, but just make it more interesting. You could have helicopters flying around, have a lot of like... I don't know, put up like statues or just some sort of decoration around the track. Um, you can make it look a lot more appealing at today. And you can make it more fun. You could have the bumps and all, all that. Can, you can do tricks and stuff. You can, you can add, and add more obstacles on the course. Put the womps or chain chomps walking around, like just to give it more life, you know? Um, and you don't have, it doesn't have to be all like, uh, flat like there's but like there's rant there's jumps of course but you could like with anti-gravity you could have like sections that are straight ver like completely vertical you could just have some fun you could add water too like you could because a lot of tracks that um they've added water to that aren't in the original be to use the the uh, like water feature underwater water feature like donut planes in snes there's water if you fall off the bridge black Jew has to pull you out but in, when they remade that track in Mario Kart 8, if you fall in the water, you're fine. You can that, That's a whole other section you can drive in. Same with Sherbert Land. Uh, the GameCube Sherbert Land, uh, if you fall in the water, you're usually dead. But in this version, uh, it, it Sherbert Land in Mario Kart 8, if you fall in the water, you're fine. There's, there's a whole underwater route. So you... Now, there is no water in, in the stage, in the original, but you can just... They can add it. I'm, I think they've added water, too to stages that originally didn't have it. I'm pretty, I, I'm pretty sure that, the, that there have been some remakes where they've just added it. So to make it more interesting, you, you can do that. I think it was actually the DS version of Wario Stadium. Correct me if I'm wrong, but there's a Wario Stadium track in Mario Kart DS. It's not a remake of the 64 version. Like I said, nothing... <clears throat> um, oh, this is Sherbert Land. Okay, I'm thinking of Sherbert Island. I get those tracks mixed up. So this is Sherbert Land, but Sherbert Island, it, that must be the track I'm thinking of from the GameCube. Uh, 
is the track I'm thinking of that they brought back from Marker 8 and, and you're able to go underwater in the 8 version. Um, yeah. Anyway, what was I saying? I, I kind of lost my train of thought a little bit, little bit there. With the whole Wario Stadium. Oh yeah, the DS, the DS Wario Stadium, which is an original track, just with the same name. There was no water at all in that track, I'm pretty sure. But in the Mario Kart 8 remake of the DS Wario Stadium, there's a whole section at the end where there's just a bunch of water. You go underwater. So, yeah, that's a thing. So what I'm trying to say is you could make Wario Stadium, the 64 version of Wario Stadium, you could, you could give that track a tremendous glow up. You could. And I believe that they will in Mario Kart 9 because you can only not remake Wario Stadium for so long. In fact, I'm actually surprised that they didn't do it already for Mario Kart 8 in the Booster Course Pass. So I'm sure we'll see it in Mario Kart 9, and I'm sure we're going to see it get a, a, an awesome remake with the new engine that they use, um, <coughs> and like upgraded lighting and all that, and incorporate whatever gimmick Mario Kart 9 has uh, into the track as well. So. It'll still be a couple years away before we even see Mario Kart 9. Won't come out to the next uh, Nintendo console, but but it will be pretty cool because we've been we've been playing the same Mario Kart game for so many years. Uh, 2014 was when Mario Kart 8 came out on the Wii U originally. All right, so uh, Sherbert, this is the, yeah, this is Sherbert Land. This is kind of a cool. I love the ice texture here. Like, and how it, it reflects, it looks so nice. I uh, really love this a lot. This track was remade in Mario Kart Wii. Yeah, it was. Um, it's a fun track, you got all these penguins. Oh shoot. I gotta, oh hold on, I gotta make a quick little save. I'm not doing too well. I might have to use that for insurance. Oh no. I'm in six. I keep running. Oh! I have to focus up here a little bit. Oh, lightning! Perfect! Okay, that that came in clutch, actually. Finishing fourth. But yeah, I actually... Um, I think it's a, a fun track, actually. I love all the penguins going around. And I, I, just, I just love... I've always loved the ice texture in this track, too. It looks, it looks so, like, so nice. Okay, so that was the second race. So next we have Royal Raceway, which I guess you could argue is like Princess Peach's stage because you have Luigi Raceway, then you got Mario Raceway. Now this is Royal Raceway, and 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 Princess Peach is royalty. <laughs> She's a princess, so this is kind of like Princess Peach Raceway, but it's Royal Raceway. So this stage. Okay, I actually like this stage even more than Mario and Luigi Raceway. This is my favorite of the three raceways in this game. Um, I think it, again, I think this is the same music from Mario and Luigi Raceway. So maybe it was just this music that I absolutely loved as a kid, but I really do legitimately love this track a lot. This part is so cool with the jump. Okay, what's really cool, you can actually turn right into the castle here and go and check out the yard and stuff. Um, it's a pretty cool easter egg. I'm not going to do it because then I'm going to come in like last place. Um, you know what, maybe, okay, I'll do it next lap actually. I'll make a save. I'll, I'll make a suspend uh, save point so that I don't uh, lose the race. So I'll show you what I'm talking about if you don't know the, this easter egg. Um, but yeah, this is an awesome track actually. They, this one was, was remade in Marker 8 as well. Pretty, pretty awesome track. Ooh. You got those piranha plants on the side there. Ooh. Peachy! Watch out, Peach. Get out of my way. You too, OBG. Okay. So it's coming up again. Okay, I'll make a save here. And I'll load this in a minute. 
but you can actually go into the castle grounds here and this is where the award ceremony is at the end of the cups but this is the same like yard that's in mario uh super mario 64. You, it's all the same like you can drive around here There's, there should be a little lake over there you can go on this bridge it's so cool actually it's such a, such a cool easter egg i mean obviously these games would have come out around the same time like they're on the same console mario kart 64 and then uh super mario 64. um so yeah they, they would have come out within a couple years of, of one another for sure I don't remember exactly when each of these games came out, but you can go like right up to the door too, <laughs> too. If if you can, I don't know why I'm having so much trouble. Mario just yeah, and like usually you just enter the castle and jump into bomb on battlefield. Um, anyway, the thing that's really sucky is um when they remade this track in Mario Kart 8, they they blocked the whole section like peach's castle is still there and it's like modernized like it's not exactly the 64 version it's like the, a more modern peach's castle and and courtyard and all that but there's a huge gate and you can't go in there and it's like kind of sad i'm like why did they take that out i know it's not part of the track and you know if you go in there and explore you're going to lose the race but it's it, it was just a really fun Easter egg and it was just it was fun to explore all the time when I would race on this track as a kid like I would just pick this track in in either in time trial or or I might play it in Grand Prix and lose the whole race because I decided I wanted to go explore Peach's Castle like it was just because because as I mentioned earlier Super Mario 64 was is my favorite N64 game growing up I can't remember off the top of my head what the very first game I've ever played was like in my life. I I, try, I thought about it really hard a while ago because I was like, because I, I wonder what it is. And there's a good chance that Super Mario 64, there's a good chance that that was the first video game I ever played. Um, and like I said, it was a big part of my childhood, that game. Love it a lot. My, my favorite N64 game, Mario Kart 64 is my second favorite N64 game, but just that like little crossover Easter egg. Like I it was probably one of the reasons why I loved this track so much. So there should be one more race. I think it's Bowser's Castle, which is weird because usually, so, okay, so Bowser's Castle, as you can see, it's the final, okay, actually, first of all, I gotta just say right off the bat, I absolutely love this Bowser's Castle. Um, Oh, there's Marty there. The whole Easter egg. Uh, well, not even an Easter egg. It's like a... I don't even know what you call it. It was something the fans came up with. It's like... A, if you've ever seen a Mario Kart 64 Iceberg video, they'll talk about the the Marty. The Thwomp Marty. I can give you a little bit of information, I guess, about that. It's like a... Uh, the fans came up with it. It's not even a thing that Nintendo made. But there's that Thwomp in the jail cell when you first enter the castle at the beginning of the race and he's like he's like tinted green which is weird and he's tinted green and the fans came up that, he, that his name is marty so that's not even a nintendo thing but the entire mario kart community especially 64 like like his knows him as marty there was all these like um like uh cr creepy passes yeah we just passed him like creepy passes or maybe that's not the right word, but like there was all these rumors that you could unlock him as a playable character in this game. I'm not I am not kidding you. There were rumors that you could um, there was like fake videos and like on early YouTube and that of people playing as Marty in this game. Like they were fake videos, but anyway, it's a whole thing. You can you can watch videos about it on YouTube. It's really funny. You just just search the uh, Marty Mario Kart 64 Marty or whatever, but um before I got distracted, this is like one of my favorite Bowser castles. Actually, I it's like it's kind of creepy. Like not now, I guess, but like as a kid, this was always kind of a creepy stage. Like even the music's kind of haunting, and all the Bowser statues, the th the breathing fire. It's got like kind of a horror element. This whole stage and the thwomps here trying to crush you, Marty in the jail over there. 
So I really, I always really loved this Bowser's Castle and I really wish they brought this back like in the Booster Course Pass, I was gonna say, although the Bowser Castle remake that we did get in the Booster Course Pass, uh, which is the SNES version, is a very good remix. So I'm glad we got that. Maybe we'll get this in Mario Kart 8, or in Mario Kart 9, rather. Um, it was remade not that long ago, though, in the Wii. Uh, this, this version of Bowser Castle was in the Wii version, I remember. So it, wasn't, it was remade not, like, too long. I mean, the Wii was kind of a while ago, I guess, but it was only a, um, a few generations ago. <clears throat> But yeah, it's a great track. Great Bowser's Castle. One of my, it's, it is one of my favorite Bowser Castles of all time. Just probably c just because of how nostalgic it is to me. And how nostalgic this Mario Kart is. Like, for me in general. Oh, and, and what I was going to say. Is it's, it's funny that this track is ends the Star Cup. Because today. Um, I, I don't remember when they started this. It, it might have been s like since Double Dash. But... Because every, every Mario Kart has a Rainbow Road. Every single Mario Kart, even the SNES. Every Mario Kart has a Rainbow Road and a Bowser Castle or multiple versions of Bowser Castle. If you're the GBA or SNES, you have multiple versions of Bowser Castle. Um, and Rainbow Road is the last track in every Mario Kart game from 1 to 8. The last track is the Rainbow Road. And Bowser's Castle which is also in every Mario Kart game, is not always, but the last, like, quite a few Mario Karts, is always the second last track in the game. Right, so it's the, right before Rainbow Road in the Special Cup. Mar so in Mario Kart 8, you have whatever the first two tracks are in the Special Cup. Then you have Bowser Castle, Rainbow Road. I know in, in Mario Kart 7 for the 3DS, you have Bowser Castle, then Rainbow Road. Mario Kart Wii, you have Bowser Castle, then, then Rainbow Road. Um, and going back one more is, I think... The DS, I think it is Bowser Castle, then Rainbow Road in, in that as well. I don't remember exactly what it is in Double Dash or in the GBA version, um, but, but obviously here in the 64 version, Bowser Castle does not precede Rainbow Road in the Special Cup. Um, Rainbow Road st is still the final track in the whole game and the final track of this Special Cup as it is in every Mario Kart. However, um, opposed to the later Mario Karts, Bowser Castle is is well. It's not even in the Special Cup in in this game. It's in the it it's the last track in the in the Star Cup. Um, we gotta go with Yoshi, I think, for this last one. All right. So Special Cup here. Oh, it, it was Banshee Boardwalk was what I was tr thinking of earlier when I was talking about the f when I was doing Frappe Snowland. <clears throat> anyway, all right. DK, this is DK Jungle Raceway, right? This was a this was a really fun track as a kid. I think what one of the like mechanics that I love so much about this stage and um, Royal Raceway is like this jump. Because just like Royal, Royal Raceway, you have that, like, it's, it looks kind of awkward on the 64, I'm not going to lie. Like, the the characters kind of unnaturally have this, like, it just looks funny to me, I think, but it doesn't matter. It's, it, this is a pretty early Mario Kart game. Um, but this track, like, that jump is pretty fun. This this bridge here, I just, I really, I like this track a lot, actually. Um, probably another one of my favorites, I would say. That boat there, too, is kind of cool. I think it said, what, does it say Mario? Um, but yeah, what I was trying to say, like this, like, so it, this, it just looks kind of a little bit unnatural, I think. Especially in, especially in Royal Raceway, because the jump's way longer in that, in that track. Um, it's kind of cool too if you go off the track like this they like throw stuff at you I don't know what that's all about I have, I don't know but it, that's a thing in this track um, this track was remade in Mario Kart Wii and it was pretty fun in that version as well but yeah I always loved this track I thought it was this was a really cool jungle themed track there was a summoning salt video I watched 
If you don't know who Summoning Salt is, he's this YouTuber. I'm a huge fan of his videos. Um, I, I guess I'm officially giving him a shout out. <laughs> he does these like world record, like video game world record history videos and they're really well made. I, I absolutely love those videos. And he has like, I think he has a couple of Mario Kart 64 videos. So he'll do like, and again, he specializes like, he, he does world record histories. He'll talk about who's in the lead currently um, with all the world records and like when someone is overtaken. Like, but the way that, that his videos are produced and made, it's actually like really impressive and, and quite entertaining. But I bring it up because there was a video, it was either about this track, um, DK Jungle uh, Race, or what is this track called? GK, DK Jungle Park? Wait, why am I forgetting the name of this track? It's not Raceway again. Parkway or Park something? There was like, there was this guy who had the world record time in every track or something except for this stage. And him and one other person were like battling out for a long time. I don't quite remember how it went, but like this track, I know it, it gets a lot of attention in the Mario Kart 64 speedrunning community. It's a big deal in the in the 64 speedrunning community. So that's why I bring it up and why I bring up Summoning Salt. But yeah, like I, I totally recommend uh, his channel if you have not seen it. Now, Yoshi Valley. <laughs> I know I keep saying all these tracks are like favorites of mine. Like, how many favorites are you allowed to have? Like, like I, you can't just say everything is your favorite, but like, this is another one of my favorites. Um, I think it's really funny too, because this track, because there's so many different ways you can go. And the game, the game doesn't know like who's in first or second or in third. It's just question marks. As you can see on the left, see, it's just, it's just a bunch of question marks. Oh, this is kind of weird too, the big Yoshi egg rolling around. I always found that kind of weird, but I always found it kind of cool. I, I was like, whatever, let's just, we're just going to roll with it. Um, yeah. But I think the reason that, that all those question marks are there is that literally the, the Nintendo 64 console could not, was like, could not compute and could not tell who's in first or second or third, like, particularly at this part when there's like, there's so many different pathways you can go. I think I went the same route as I did in the first lap, um, but I'll try and go a different route next time. You, usually in stages like this, most people will kind of p stay with the same route. They'll kind of pick their favorite. Um, I, th I think that's why I picked the same route for my second lap. And that's the way I go in Marker 8 as well, because this track was remade in Marker 8. Um, it's really cool in Mario Kart 8, too. Okay, not, it, when I was playing this track in Mario Kart 8, I swear to God, I was in first place once, and a, someone threw a blue shell at me. But I, 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 like, tricked the blue shell or something, because I went one way, oh, and the blue shell went the other way. I, like, totally dodged the blue shell, and I was watching the blue shell on the mini-map, going around the whole stage again to catch up to me, and I was racing as fast as I could, and I got to the finish line before the blue shell can make it around the whole map again. It was the funniest thing I, I that that I've ever seen in Mario Kart. Like, like, like literally, I, I like juked the blue shell. And I think it's because I was playing on Yoshi Valley, so like, the blue shell AI might have gotten a little bit confused too, but I was in first place, and the blue shell went a different route. Like, like, right as I was, right as I went one way, the blue shell went the other way. I, I must have just juked it, and I, I watched it go all the way around, catching up to me again, but not before I, I, I just made it to the finish line. So yeah, that happened in Mario Kart 8. <laughs> I don't think I have, I don't have like video proof of that. I was just, it was so funny. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Yoshi's Valley is a great track. Okay, so Banshee Boardwalk, I talked about this a little bit earlier when I was playing uh, the uh, Frappe Snowland. I was like, oh yeah, Frappe Snowland and that, uh, I called it Boo Boardwalk because I didn't remember what it was called. It was, it's Banshee Boardwalk, but I always found that those two were, for some reason, I guess not memorable. I mean, it's weird because since I've played this more, 
the last couple of years, like every once in a while, the last couple of years, I'll play Mario Kart 64 since it's on the Switch and it's convenient. Um, so I've played this stage a few times, and it's it's cool actually. Like you have all the big cheap cheeps jumping on the water. Um, it's just like just like that Froppy Snowland track. I just don't remember it very much as a kid, but I definitely would have played it because, you know, when, I, when you play Grand Prix, you have to play all four tracks and then Rainbow Road, which is after this track. I love Rainbow Road. Uh, I love the N64 Rainbow Road, even though it's like super long. I loved it. So I would have had to play this track first to get to it. So I would have, I would have played this track lots. I would have played the Frappe Snowland track lots as well. Um, I guess... I guess I just didn't like like them very much. I don't dislike them for sure. Like Wario Stadium is the only one I actually kind of dislike. I guess I just find I consider this one more middle. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Which is weird because playing it again now and in the recent couple of years, it's kind of a cool track. It's like haunted themed. You got the like. Those, bo those boos kind of appear and disappear the track like this part with the bats like it's kind of a cool track so I don't know why it didn't stick out to me but like honestly I I, I hardly remember this track at all like when I played Mario 64 or Mario Kart 64 like a couple years ago when this came to the switch and when I played it again for the first time in years and I got to this track I was like oh wow like I, I didn't even remember this track I I, I I at least remembered Froppy Snowland, not very much. I was like, "Oh yeah, Froppy Snowland." I kind of remember that, um, but not very, not very well. But this track, especially, I didn't, I didn't remember, I did not remember this track at all. Um, yeah, which is weird. So apparently, this is apparently this was not very memorable to me as a as a kid. I don't know why, but it just just was not, it just was not meant to be. All right, we're coming up near the end. Oh, shoot. Very nice. Got second. So we only have one more race in the special cup, and one more race in the whole thing, and that's going to be Rainbow Road. But yeah, just to be clear, I don't have a single childhood memory of this track. All right, moving on. So the final track, Rainbow Road. This, this on this is actually quite long. Three being three laps. Um, but I've always really loved this Rainbow Road. At the same time, I think the music is like just amazing. I love in the background too. Like you have like the that Mario thing going on. Um, the Peach, Luigi, and some other characters too. It, it, it like draws them in the stars or something. And of course, you got those chain chomps like in in the track, eating it, munching as you're trying to drive. Um, yeah. The Mario Kart 8 version of this track is very good. Um, they shortened it to one lap in Mario Kart 8, which was probably the right move. Although, I think since the controls are more optimized in Mario Kart 8, and since the graphics are more uh, like more appealing, and the gameplay is like you know more fun, I I, I like I will often play the 64 version of of Rainbow Road in Mario Kart 8. I will often play that track and then think, oh man, I wish it was like two laps. Like, maybe not three, because it is long, but maybe if it was like two laps. Like, I'll often play it and think, oh, one was a little too short, you know? But, I guess, same with Wario Stadium I was talking about a few minutes ago. There isn't really a whole lot going on here, um, in this version of the track. It's, it's, it is kind of a... I mean, it's just a rainbow road, <laughs> I guess. I think, I, I don't know. I think I, I liked it more as a kid, but I, 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 I don't, I definitely still enjoy this track. It's just, I think its length didn't bother me as much when I was a kid. You know what I mean? I think now it, it now I, I actually recognize and I can agree with most people. Yeah, it's, it's a little long. 
you know? But as a kid, it, that, it didn't bother me at all. So I definitely liked the 64 version of, of this Rim World more as a kid, I think. But it's still a really great track. It's got great music, and, I'm, and I'm, I think the Marker 8 version is, is terrific. Like those chain chomps, in, in the 8 version, those chain chomps, they just bounce on the track. And I know that sounds weird. I mean, if you're familiar with Marker 8, then, then you know what I'm talking about. They just bounce on the track, and they make the track wavy. But that's, that, that's kind of, that, that's like the, some of the things that they did to, like, I guess, modernize the track to make it more appealing. You know, like, like one of my favorite things about seeing these remakes of older stages is like seeing how they change it. Like how do they make it more interesting, you know? Hmm. Oh, the DK there. I am starting to run out of things to say, and I have another one and a half laps. It's, it's, yeah, it, it, it is definitely a pretty long race. Oh my lord. Bowser? What the heck? <laughs> Bowser just took my box. I want to be at four minutes here by the time I'm done my second lap. Mario Stadium is long too, but this is longer. I just love this music, man. The 64 Rainbow Road music goes so hard. And it's, it's remix in Mark Art 8 is so good too. It's awesome. I love it too because in Mark Art 8, there's like a like jumps here at the start and you can like glide down this whole opening it's so cool and at the end right before you you go to hit the finish line there's another jump and you can glide you fly through the finish line at the end so that's pretty cool i i mark art 8 did a really good job uh revamping this track and bringing it more to life i think Get out of here, Chain Chomp. Damn. There's a crazy shortcut you can do, too, in this stage. I Like, near the start. Near the very start, you can... Or, or I don't remember where, but you can jump off the track and... Instead of Lakitu picking you up, you will fall on a different part of this track. You can watch videos about it. I don't remember exactly where it is. I don't know how to do it. But I've seen videos about it. And it's, there's like, there's, yeah, there's a crazy shortcut. There's like an ultra shortcut in this stage that you could do. I, I should have, I should have done it if I knew where it was. And then I could have uh, completed this track a lot quicker than six minutes. Damn. But yeah, you literally... You like jump off the railing, but I think you, you, I don't think you could just jump off the railing. I think you have to. It's it's on the downhill, and then you you it's easier. You you really can jump off the track at that part. Oh, nice! I used that mushroom last second. Six minutes. Well, and that was the final race in Mario Kart 64. So I can already tell that tomorrow tomorrow's video is going to be quite long it's gonna be longer because there's gonna be twice as many tracks because Mario Kart uh, super Mario Kart super circuit for the GBA they actually brought back every SNES track for some reason they didn't really like revamp them very much um, you know like like starting from Mario Kart DS was was when they really started doing the retro tracks and bringing back retro tracks uh, and like revamping them a little bit or maybe not so much but that's when they started doing retro tracks. Um, there was no retro tracks in Double Dash, but G the GBA, the one right before Double Dash, the one after 64, the third Mario Kart, they weren't 
considered retro tracks, but um, I think you had to get like a gold, like first place trophy and all the cups or something. I don't quite remember what the qualifications were. I have it un unlocked, but you have to unlock those uh, those tracks. But there, it, there's like a secret. There's like secret cups of all the tracks in the original in in the original Super Mario Kart for the SNES. So yeah. Um, so tomorrow will, will be a longer video for sure. But I think it'll still be a lot of fun. So join me again tomorrow if you want to see me play through all of uh, Mario Kart Super Circuit for the GBA. Uh, that's all for day two of Mario Kart week. We have seven more days to go. And yeah, that's all for today. Uh, if you're still here, thank you so much for watching to the end. Hopefully I'll see you again uh, next time and have a great day.